Hey, Mr. Sams, what are you uh, drinking? My solution. Your solution? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell that. I need coffee. No, I teach, therefore. I need coffee. I need coffee. But you know, I teach too. Yeah. But you I. Get your own little fix. I got, I got my solution mm -hmm. here. It's called Focus Kiwi Strawberry Vitamin Water. Uh huh. You have your solution, I'll have mine. There we go. Yeah. So we're talking about solutions today, guys. Mm. Um, solutions like solutes and solvents, and of course, my solution is a solution with an, it's an aqueous solution with uh, water. Yeah. And if I kind of look carefully, I could probably even figure out what is it, water is the what. That's our solvent. Solvent. Mine also has a water solvent. Yes, because yours is that cafe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but mine uh, has what's dissolved in it would be like the solute. I have uh, cane sugar. I've I got, got citric acid. There are over 250 compounds in a coffee bean that contribute to the flavor of coffee. 250? You know yeah, so mine is a One far, including caffeine. One is caffeine, and that's the key one. Without that... I don't think there's any caffeine in this. No. You probably need caffeine. It is early in the morning. It is, yeah. You see, Mr. Sam's is not a morning person, mm -hmm. and it is 7.45 in the a.m. And, I might and I've been up for two and a half hours. I might note that we did just have the time change this weekend, so it actually feels like 6.45. There you go. Well, see, I've been good. I, I got up, exercised, yeah. worked out on the bike. Yeah, so um, today, let's uh, dive in and start talking about solution. solution. Yeah. All right, three main topics today. Solution composition. The energies of solution formations and the factors that affect a solution formation. All right. All right. So we've already kind of alluded to this, but mm -hmm. let's just get some uh, meat on those bones. Yep. What is a solid solute? Solute's the stuff that you put into the solvent. The stuff dissolved. The stuff that gets dissolved. Yep. You can say gets dissolved. That's I like that. And then a solvent is the stuff the solute gets dissolved in. Dissolve. Dissolve. Medium is how I. Yeah. So if, or the dissolver, I like that. Yeah. Just if you have salt water, salt's the solute, water's the solvent. Yeah. And together, they, they make, make solution. a a solution. All right. It's a mixture, basically, folks. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture, and then one thing is sort of the thing that you have most of is considered the, the solvent, yep. and the, the th less is that. Well, a solution. Yeah. yeah and that's, specifically, it's a homogeneous mixture. Yes. So let's actually write that down here. It's the homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture. And then solubility is a little bit different, isn't it? It's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's that's a mathematical we, right, term, that's isn't it? That's how we measure the extent to which something dissolves. So it's a, it's a number. Mm -hmm. So how, how do we do that? So that's basically the amount, actually the maximum amount, right? Yep. The maximum amount, A M O U N T, amount of solute in a given amount. Yeah of solvent. Typically it's given in grams of solute per 100 grams of solvent. All right, so that's the maximum amount, okay? So here's some examples of some different types of solutions. Oh yeah. So um, most of the time the solutions that we alluded to at the beginning of the podcast, of course, were aqueous solutions mm -hmm. where water was the solvent yeah. but actually there are lots of different varieties of solutions there you probably are. are not familiar with the one we just talked about was this one right here we had the liquid was the state the state of the solution was a s is this right i think that's a typo let's fix that yeah this would be wrong this is the state of the solution would be a liquid and the state of the solute would be a solid there we go. That's what it'd be. That would be like salt water right there, or sea water. So salt water. Okay, it's a little typo there. Um, air, natural gas, is actually a solution. So what you're breathing right now is a solution uh, where the gas and the solute are the same. Gas, gas. Mm -hmm. So you've got oxygen, and nitrogen. They're dissolved in each other, really. Yep. Or vodka and water. Okay. Or antifreeze, liquid and liquid. Liquids, two liquids dissolved in each other. We'll actually show that in a little bit. Um, solid. Solid would be like brass. Two solids dissolved in each other. It's kind of an alloy. Carbonated water, you have a gas. These are backwards, aren't they? Yes, they are. So this would be a liquid, and this would be a gas. So this is a carbonated beverage. I don't have a carbonated beverage with me today, but the gas is dissolved in the liquid. liquid. Yeah. And then hydrogen and platinum, I think I still got them backwards, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. I think what I probably did is I messed probably up just, here. <laughs> yeah, I messed up your uh, Solid, and this is gas. Okay. 
Oh, well. No worries. Yeah. All right. So you get the idea there's different kinds. So you can have a solution that can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And what's dissolved can also be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Mm -hmm. So kind of cool. Now, notice there's no solids, though, dissolved. Never mind. They start. All right. Now, we can measure so solutions. Yep. We can measure their concentration. Concentrations. Now, solubility is a measure of the maximum amount, but if you have some that's less than the maximum. Yep. Then we can measure how it, uh, how much of it is dissolved in there specifically. And we've talked about molarity before, and that's the moles of solute per liter of solution. Now it's very important that you keep track of the terms here, because in yeah. molarity it's moles per liter of solution. Solution. Now, a new term we're going to introduce today is called molality. And molality, molality. I hate that word. It just sounds weird. All I like it. Molality. molality. Anyhow, it's moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, not total solution per kilogram of solvent. That's very a very important. important distinction. You get all messed up if you try and think of it per solution. Yes. All right. And then there's mass percent, mm -hmm. mass solute per mass of solution. Times 100. More Actually, yeah, we should say times 100 there, yeah. Okay. And then the mole fraction. Now, this is something that's new in the mole fraction. Right. It is just the percentage of moles, really, yes. uh, as a decimal, not as a, decimal. Not as a percentage. Right. So you take the moles of whatever chemical it is, A or whatever, over the total number of moles. And we'll do some examples so yep. this is uh, uh, clear for you. In fact, speaking of an example, let's do one. Now, this one has quite a few questions on it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so in this example, we have isopropyl alcohol, and we know its density. And we've got grams, and we've got grams. What is the molarity, the molality, the mole fraction, and the percent mass? All right, so to do this, we need to kind of just think it through. I like to kind of convert things to moles first. Yep. Moles seems to be the best work. We've got this isopropyl alcohol, which probably we should know it's molar mass. So if I've got 20 grams of isopropyl alcohol, I'll call it IP, I'm going to convert that to moles. Now, isopropyl alcohol is... The formula is C3H7OH. So, Mr. Sams, what is the molar mass of C3H7OH? Oh, uh, I suppose I should be calculating that, shouldn't I? It'd be 20, 36, 39, 60. 40, 60, yeah. So 60 grams in one mole. So Mr. Sams is going to determine how many moles of isopropyl alcohol yeah. we are. So 20 over, oh, two-thirds. Yep, point three three three. Zero point three three moles. I'll just use IP for isopropyl alcohol. And then we've got 40 grams of water to convert that to moles. Of course, there are 18 grams in one mole. 2.22. 2.22 moles. Now, now that we have the moles, we can do qu quite a number of things. Okay. So I have 0.33 moles. So let's do the mole fraction first, something that's sort of a new thing for you guys. Right. So I'm going to take the mole fraction. The mole fraction is the moles of the isopropyl alcohol, which is 0 0.33, and I'm going to divide by the total number of moles, which was? 2.22 plus 0.33. 2.22 plus 0 0.33. So this would be a pretty high percentage. I'm going to say 9.9 .9 something, am I right? Um, no, no, low number. Low percentage, yeah, it's 0.13. I was going the other way. 0.13, and there are no units no. in mole fraction. No units. So that is the answer, that is the mole fraction of this. Let's now, next do the um, molality. Should we talk about mole fraction of water? Because we can, we can do did it ask for the, Did it ask? Yeah. I don't remember if it did. Well, let's right. go for it. Yeah, they're the mole fraction of water, one. of one, yeah, they'll add up to one, and that'll just be 2.22 uh, over 2.22 uh, plus 0.33. Or actually, you could subtract from one, get yeah. the same answer. It'd be 0. 0.87, right? Oh, uh, yep, 0.87. Now, I knew that, of course, because 0. 0.13 and 0. 0.87, they add up to, uh, well, they add up to one. Yeah. So that's not terribly difficult. Let's do the molality next. All right. Now, something on molality, folks, is the symbol for molality is a small cursive M, mm -hmm. not a capital M for molarity. Now, molality is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Now, the moles of the solute is 0.33 moles of the isopropyl alcohol, right, divided by the kilograms of the solvent. The solvent in this case is water. Mm -hmm. Now if you recall, they gave us that there were 40 grams of water. Now that would be 0 0.04. I'm doing this in my head. Hopefully you can do that. Follow mm -hmm. along. 0 0.04 kilograms. Of course, to get from grams to kilograms, you divide by 1,000. That's it. You take 0 0.33 divided by 0 0.04, and you get an 8.25 
Molal solution. Actually, and you say Molal. Molal. It is the Molal solution. Molal. Yeah. So now, hey, what else do we need to do? Molarity. Actually, I think we need to do the percent. Let's do that because that's easy. Oh, yeah. It says, what's the percentage, right? Does it want the percent? Uh, it does. The percent, percent mass. mass. That is super easy. It's yep. just the percentage. This I can do this in my head. You see there are 20 grams of isopropyl alcohol in um, 60 grams of solution. Now, where did I get the 60? Is uh, 20 grams of isopropyl alcohol plus the 40 grams of water. All right, there were 20 here and 40, so the total is 60. So that's a 0 0.33, isn't it? It is. 0 0.33, and that would be times 100, actually. So oh, you're right. 33%. So that would be 33%.